Hey guys! So I wanted to talk a little bit about my youngest dog, Lilu, who happens to be a uh, Australian Shepherd, a miniature Australian Shepherd. Um, she is a high prey drive dog, which means she comes with really strong instincts, which is something I wanted in my dog because I wanted to be able to do agility, frisbee, you know, obedience, and obviously use it as a demo for my training classes. Um, so it's, she's really, really, really fun, but she's also, um, can be a little bit difficult when I bring her home or living in the city like we do. And this is because those instincts that she has, while they're really great when she's working, you know, um, her line has frisbee champions, you know, they do sheep herding, um, a couple of them actually have done halftime shows for the bulls. So they, they really are great dogs and they like excel in their sport. But when you bring them home, those instincts don't automatically turn off. You know, they were bred to quickly respond to movement, you know, um, to make it really basic. So when they see sheep moving, they want to respond to that and chase it. That's why when they see the frisbee being thrown, they want to go after it. Um, but if you're in the city, you know, cars, that's movement, squirrels, that's movement. There's a lot of movement in the city and just because it's not sheep or cattle doesn't mean they're not going to respond they will. At home, something that I have learned, um, having her, you know, it's different when you train a dog in the training room, but when you bring them home, you see a whole nother side. Um, but I can't, there's certain things I cannot do with her just hanging out, um, like using a lint roller, she wants to bite it, um, brushing, initially she wanted to bite the brush because of the movement, um, sweeping and mopping, that's another thing that she just wants to go after it, um, vacuum cleaner, it's a little different because she's a little scared of it, but um, like another one is cleaning the carpet. She wants to go after the brush. Um, and so the next few videos that you're gonna see, you're gonna see what happens when I try to do any of those sudden movements or you know, um, even just quick movements. It triggers her instinct as an Australian Shepherd is to chase a nip, chase a nip. So she's very mouth oriented. Um, so take a look and, and, and kind of see what she, she does when that happens. Now, some dogs don't have a really strong prey drive or their their instinct is not to respond to the movement. They might have something else. Um, and in my case, in, in this clip that you're going to see, um, Charlie and Emma, Beagles, um, Charlie is going to demonstrate how he does not care at all about the broom or me sweeping. And in the following clip, you're going to see Emma and Charlie that don't care about me using the brush at all. Beagles, just a little side note, have a stronger nose. So you'll see them more smelling around than responding to that movement.
Very good. If you have a dog that's very similar to Lilu, so the dog has really strong drives, my terriers, um, my herding breeds, uh, then you might be having something similar going on. And with Lilu, the ones that you saw, um, and that includes a vacuum cleaner because that's a little different, there'll be another clip, um, it's not fear at all. And it's definitely not aggression. It's her prey drives coming out and it just seems scary, but she's doing her job, just not the sheep, but like the broom or the brush. So in order for me to be able to do this, you do need some training. Um, the next clip is you don't want to do training right after it happens. That's going to make it more difficult. And the reason why when these instincts start to come out, the adrenaline is popping up. I mean, it's just shooting. And so if you try to do this, you're not, you're not going to have a calm dog. So you're only going to get frustrated and your dog is going to get frustrated. It's a lot harder for them to have self-control once their adrenaline is not at a zero, but it's peaking higher up there. Um, so this next clip, Lilu, I'm trying to do a little bit of training with her. So I'm reinforcing little movements of the brush. Um, you can see how it's a little harder for her. So take a look. Go to bed. As you can see, it was a lot harder for her to sit stay. I mean, she has a pretty good sit stay, uh, but it was harder because it was done, the clip was done right after I got her to like bite the brush. And I was trying to get her to do it just so I can show it to you guys. So you can see the adrenaline was high up there. This next clip, um, it's the same day. So everything was done the same, the same day, uh, but it was late at night. So we had actually just come through our agility, come from our agility class. So she's a lot more calm. Um, you know, agility is a lot of self-control and it lets your energy out. So she's calmer, but like a good tired calm. Um, so you see that I didn't even have to reinforce her because she had more tolerance um, of the movement. So it took a lot more for her to respond like she did in the first clip. Um, so when you do want to do training, make sure that your dog is calm, make sure he's a little tired, don't do it in the early morning, um, and make sure that you you also increase the distance, because I know Lilu's pretty good at this, she's pretty close at, close towards the brush, um, but increase the distance um, so that it can be a lot easier. So take a look. So you saw how she was a lot calmer and wasn't chasing it and that's because her mind was on doing something. In this case it was to hold her stay, whether it was a sit or a down stay. Um, so when you are doing any of like the sweeping, the brushing, um, think of giving your dog a job. 
and have them think about that so that they're not quickly responding to the movement. Um, if your dog needs a little bit more help with their sit stay, another idea is to have them on a bed. So it kind of gives them a placement. This is my boundaries and this is where I have to stay. So it's a little more helpful for them. Um, so in the next clip, you're going to see Lilu do a sit stay on the bed while I'm sweeping. And she also, um, actually the first one, you'll see her chasing the broom. And then the second one, you'll see the clip where she's holding a sit stay while I'm sweeping the floor. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Remember that if your dog is doing something similar um, out of prey drive and, and, and excitement, um, give them a job to do. You know, whether it's a sit stay, a down stay, or just putting them in the crate. That's another great management tool. I do that um, when I'm cleaning my house with Lilo if I don't want to have her hold a sit stay. Um, just do that and that way it will avoid all frustration and remember to use those instincts in a very positive way. You know, play frisbee with your dog, um, do some agility, do some obedience, um, play fetch. I mean, use them for a good cause. I mean, it can be very, very helpful. And just so that you guys don't think Lilo is like this crazy dog, um, I'm just going to show you a couple of clips to end it of her doing some of the stuff that she does best. Alright, thank you guys. Thanks. Nice.